All right, Akian. Shalom, Shalom. It's the brother Yahweh Shapat. Coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors as always to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone who do teach and rule well in these scriptures. And peace and blessings to my uh, Akian, to the hopeful elect, to the brothers that's out there on the highways and the byways pushing his word and truth and sincerity. Risking your lives and your freedom to do so, to you I say Shalom. Now, um, the name of this lesson, Akim, is going to be entitled "Keep Your uh, Keep Your Lamp Lit." And you know, how do you keep your lamp lit? You no, know, you need uh, you need this oil. You need this wisdom, which uh, the scriptures refer to this wisdom as oil. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me look and see uh, if I had a precept written down. The scriptures refer to this uh, to this word as oil. I believe it's Matthew six and twenty two. I had to kind of labor on, not kind. I had to labor on this lesson, knocking. So if brothers see me uh, looking to the side, just kind of looking at my notes. Hey man, you know, you know, uh, bear with me, Baba Kasha. But uh, with no further ado, I'm going to try and get straight into it, man, because I was watching the Elder Apostle Gabar's video last night that he did on that, uh, on, on uh, I'm going to just call the guy the bathtub rapper. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, that guy's bugged the fuck out. You know, of course, brothers listen to music. Brothers may have been into rap before they came into this truth, but in no wise did you try to mix this truth and rapping. You know what I'm saying? That's foolish. You know? So, uh... It's a lot here. That's foolish, Akin. You know? So, um... Yeah, man. You know, you, you you can't mix this truth and rap. Like the Elder Pascal Bar said in the video, this truth is already a song. Like the scriptures tell you, hey, man, the elect sung, as it were, a new song. That's because um, we lost this truth in this last captivity. But through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, uh, the remnant, the election, uh, the, the remnant according to election, they have that new song. You know what I'm saying? And hey, man, we got this truth again. But like I was saying, you know, the, 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 the elder was saying in the video how he knows what, what, what that scripture is. He fully understands what it's speaking about now when it says there was a... Uh, Matter of fact, I'm going to get it. There were uh, five uh, uh, wise versions, and there were there were some foolish versions, which I'm going to, that's Matthew 25, and I'm going to start at uh, verse 1, and I'm going to try and go into that, because you got guys who basically, that guy is not going to have no oil, man, and your whole body saying I was shy and dealing with that guy, man. You know, here it is, we men. Why the hell are you posting a fucking, why are you doing a rap video uh, in a fucking bathtub with the scriptures in your hand with no shirt on? Brothers don't want to see your ass with no fucking clothes on, man, in a fucking tub. Are you serious, dude? Like, bro, Jake need to get it together. That's some bugged out shit, man. He clearly has a very effeminate and worldly spirit on him. And that's not of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. The scriptures tell you the effeminate shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. That's effeminate in nature in itself. You know? And, uh, you know, we, we clearly see that guy is a fool. He's being foolish with these with this truth, man. You know, here it is. Hey, man, famine of the word is coming and you sitting up fucking using it to make a goddamn rap video. You ought to be at home studying. Especially if the spirit ain't on you to teach you. Even if you are teaching, we still got to study, man. You know what I'm saying? But but if you ain't the spirit ain't on you to teach, you should be at home eating this roll. You know? You should be at home studying. But anyway, back to the point of the uh, the main topic of the lesson is keep your lamp lit. You know what I'm saying? And the scriptures, the, the scriptures compare this, uh, this truth to oil. And I'm going to get this uh, this parable of the ten virgins. In Matthew 25, I'm going to start from verse 1. This is Matthew 25 and 1. 
Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. You know what I'm saying? So these guys, they took their lamps. Basically, I want to say through the spirit, that's them saying they, they, they acknowledging that they Israelites. But they didn't, you know, they didn't take this thing serious, man. So they didn't really study like they were supposed to. They weren't really fully invested in this truth like they were supposed to be. I'm going to keep reading. You know, it says, um, again, Matthew 25 and, and 3. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Meaning the wise, they kept their lamps lit, man. A lamp will not, um, will not stay lit without oil in it. You know? It says, um, while the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight, there was a cry made, behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. That's talking about Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the bridegroom, man. We're going to all have to stand before Yahweh Shai. And you either going to be accepted or rejected by the Heavenly Father and his son, man, through his son. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Um, it says, uh, at, and at midnight, Salakia. It's verse 7. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. They didn't, their lamps went out, man, because they didn't keep it lit. You know, it's a saying in the words, keep it lit. Hey, Amen. They didn't keep it lit with themselves. And first and foremost, with Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by, by, by studying and taking this thing serious. It says, um, But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there not be enough for us and you, but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. You know, so so the, the, the brothers that that's in this troop that was ready, they went into the door, man, and the doors of repentance was closed. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no more time to study. You couldn't go buy no oil because the Lord had a, a man famine of the word that came. You know what I'm saying? And it, this is all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. In which, you know, it's a scripture where the, the Lord tells you, I counsel thee, I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, which that's these scriptures. How do you buy these scriptures, man? You gotta you don't have to literally buy the scriptures. You just gotta study. You know what I'm saying? You gotta invest. In, in these scriptures, you know, it says, um, afterward came also the other virgins saying, Lord, Lord, open unto, open to us. But he answered and said, verily, I say unto you, I know you not, you know, so, hey, man, hey, you, you don't want to be, the, you don't want to be one of those, um, those foolish virgins and the Lord tell you, I don't know you, you ain't been doing the work. Who are you? You know what I'm saying? You know, you got to keep your lamp lit and, and, and just it's ways to do that. You have to 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 uh, you have to study, man. Sage and Sam was getting kind of strong. So lucky you got to study, man. You got to hold fast what you what you have. And that's the spirit. I got Revelations three and eleven. You know, because uh, the elder brother of Ram. From the uh, the GMS Birmingham Alabama camp, he, he did a video on how this less I mean this wisdom is the crown and it's heavy on your head, man. You gotta hold fast what you got, and how do you hold fast to something? You cling to it, you cleave to it. You know what I'm saying? This is uh Revelations three and eleven. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. No, um, I want to get uh, another scripture. I want to get Matthew 6 and 22, which the elder apostle bar made another statement on how you trying to rap and you trying to be in this truth. It's not going to mix, man. You got to keep your eyes single for this truth. That's also a way of keeping your lamp lit. You know what I'm saying? You have to, um, uh, you have to be totally focused in on this truth. You can't serve two masters because if you're trying to rap, you obviously trying to make it in this world and serve Esau, the so-called white man. You can't serve Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah and Mammon. You know, you got you to gotta pick or choose, man. 
This is Matthew 6 and uh, 21. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And your, <clears throat> your treasure is this truth. And it says, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? You know, so if you rapping, you that you know that that's you're not speaking according to this word, man. You know what I'm saying? You speaking according to the world, <clears throat> and you trying to mix this word in with that. You can't do that, man. You know, uh, like the scripture just said, man. You supposed to have your eye focused solely on this truth. And that's keeping your lamp lit. You know what I'm saying? Staying focused. You know, like the scripture just said, the light of the body, Matthew 6 and 22, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. So you're going to be lit up if your eye is single, man. But if you focused on this and that and that, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, you're not going to be able to focus on this word. Hey, Amen. And, and the scriptures tell you this right here. No, in Isaiah 8 and 20. You rapping is not you speaking according to this word. That's you speaking according to yourself and trying to mix the scriptures in with it. You not you know bass, you know, you're not no better than fucking Kirk Franklin or 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 any of them other rapping pastors. Or you ain't no better than the Christian church. You know what I'm saying? Satan knows the scriptures. You know, that, that that don't make you, knowing the scriptures don't make you righteous. You have to apply, uh, to apply them. And to apply them, you have to be studying. This is Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is, Salaki Akim, it is because there is no light in them. You know, so you got to be speaking according to this word. You got to speak the oracles of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, scriptures don't tell you to um <clears throat> to be rapping. Salaki so Akim again. Scriptures don't tell you to be rapping, man. The scriptures tell you not to be speaking of your own on your own accord, but for you to speak the oracles of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. You know, I'm gonna get uh Joshua one and eight. You know, you can't be focused on this on this truth. And be focused on other things. You know what I'm saying? Because to meditate on these scriptures, which that's what we're supposed to be doing, it takes focus. It takes keeping your eyes single, man. To keep your lamp lit and to, and to, 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 to acquire the, the oil to do so, you have to have focus. This is Joshua 1 and 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For when thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and for then shalt thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. You know, so... You're not gonna prosper in this world if you're trying to be a rapper, man. You're gonna prosper if you focus on this on this truth. You know what I'm saying? Your whole body shimmy I was gonna, you know, gonna, gonna take you through it at first, like the scriptures tell you in Ecclesiasticus, the second chapter. My son, if thou come to serve the most high, prepare thy soul for temptation. You know, so the Lord gonna try you, but he ain't gonna allow he ain't gonna he, if you are the elect. Order one third, he's not gonna allow, allow you to go to the side and fall, man. No matter how far off you go, if you are the elect, you can't go too far off because the Lord's hand ain't short and that he cannot save, man. And if the Lord really dealing with you, he's not gonna allow you to go too far off anyway. You know, the scriptures tell you a righteous man fall up seven times and riseth up again. I also want to get uh Psalms, the first verse and the second verse. This is Psalms 1. I'm going to start at 1. 
Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners. You being a rapper is you standing in the way of sinners. Hey man, all them got all them rappers that do rap, ain't none of them caring. They don't give a damn about the law, man. They they into eating shrimp and all this other uh, all these other abominations that Esau tells them is a delicacy. You know what I'm saying? They not hey man, so so you being a rapper, that's you what the scriptures say. Uh that's you walking in the counsel of the ungodly. That's you standing in the way of sinners. You know? Again, it's the Psalms 1 and 2. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. You know? So, um, what do rappers do? I was going to be a rapper before I came into this truth. You know, I'm pretty sure all brothers had something that they was into before, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah pulled us out of that, that nonsense, man. But, hey, man, taking a rapper takes you focusing on that. Takes countless nights in the studio. You got to sit there and focus on writing. You're not going to be totally focused on the truth on the truth if you're trying to focus on being a rapper, man. You know what I'm saying? Like the scriptures say, man, you can't serve two masters. You know, and I wasn't even going to talk about that guy, but hey, man, look how the spirit moves. You know what I'm saying? Like the scriptures tell you, man's goings are of the Lord. You know, how then can a man understand his own way? Roughly paraphrasing that scripture. But um, uh, I got one more scripture. And I got a John 9 and 4. And I'm going to try and close this out with that. You know, we got to be focused, man. You no, know, the scriptures, we ain't got time to be no rapper, man. The scriptures tell you, talk about redeeming the times. You know, we didn't have plenty of time to be uh, 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 whatever the hell we wanted to be in this world. It ain't, when you come into this truth, though, there is no time for that, man. There is only time for Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. You have to be occupied in this. You know, Yahweh Shah said, occupy until I come. You can't occupy until Yahweh Shah come if you're trying to rap and do the work. You know what I'm saying? Jake done lost that damn mind, man. I have uh, St. John 9 and 4. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, you can't be trying to, like, focus. Don't, don't be too caught up on your woman and your kids. Don't be too caught up on your job, man. Don't be too caught up in your in, in in trying to get. Don't be caught up at all in trying to get anything or attain anything in this world. You know, get what you need. The scriptures talk about using this world is not abusing this world. You know, so that means getting your daily bread and being satisfied and content with food and raiment. You know what I'm saying? And a place to live. You know, um, and doing it in 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 and first and foremost doing this work, man. You know, you gotta uh. We got it. Hey, man, the scriptures talk about redeeming the times. Actually, I'm going to try. I'm going to get that scripture. And uh, then I'm going to close up. Jacob, we, we don't got time to be a fucking rapper. You ain't got time to be a family man. You ain't got time to be uh, 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 the CEO of a company. We don't have time to um, entertain this world, man. Nope. The only people that you should be trying to entertain are the elect. You know what I'm saying? In the in the in the one third that are allotted to be saved. Bear with me, Aki and Baba Pasha. You ought to be focused on doing this work. Like the scripture just said, man, the night cometh where no man can work. Then how, then what are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? You're going to end up like you're going to be one of those foolish virgins, man. Con, con, I found the scripture. This is Ephesians 5 and 16. This is uh, Ephesians 5 and 16. So like you're redeeming the time because the days are evil. 
Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is, and be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be but be filled with the Spirit. You know, being being a trying to be a rapper, that means you drunk with that fucking Babylon juice, man. You not filled with the Spirit. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, and and like the scriptures say, we were demon at times because the the, the like. Come, I'm going to get it one more time. I can, this is Ephesians 5 and 16. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. You know? And how do you redeem the times? Man, I'm going to get John 9 and 4 again and I'm going to close out. This is John St. John 9 and 4. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, so you, you got to... You gotta, Redeem the times. You got to do this work while you can. You know, I'm going to close it out with that, I can. Uh, hopefully, this lesson was edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone who teach and rule well, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Until next time, I say Shalom.